Well, seeing there are a way not only to bounce questions and ideas off of each other, but also to provide the kids with Down syndrome a group of peers that they can't always find at school. These moms getting together for dinner and a white elephant gift exchange all have one thing in common. They have children with Down syndrome. There's somebody out there that is going through what you're going through and can help guide you. That's precisely why they get together. Holly Patel has a 10-year-old daughter with Down syndrome. When her family moved to Arizona five years ago, she immediately sought out a support group. You need extra help. You need you know, different information. There are lots of acronyms that you have to learn. There are lots of doctors that you have to see. More and more, that support is coming online in private groups and chats that allow families to open up not only with emotional questions, questions, but with the everyday logistical ones too. For example, because Down syndrome often causes a flat nose bridge, Patel's daughter's glasses kept falling off. But the online network helped her find exactly the type of glasses she needed to get and where to find them. I would say it's almost the other way around. I would say that the online community is more valuable and more important than actually the in-person relationships because that's what you do every day. I don't get to see these moms every day. The support groups also help match kids with Down syndrome with others their own age so they have peers outside of school who are developing right along with them. And Patel pointed out one of the most important parts of these social networks and help groups is paying it forward. She's always excited to pass along information to other parents that she needed years ago. Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family.